I wanted to answer a viewer's question that asked me, is it cool to use Plasti Dip on your motorcycle and motorcycle parts, Cycle Cruiser? Let's go for a ride. You are watching Cycle Cruiser's all-in-one motorcycle channel. Subscribe today. I feel like I'm the expert with Plasti Dip. <laughs> I've, plas I've done a lot of Plasti Dip videos over the years. I mean, I've Plasti Dip everything from a windscreen to save money instead of buying a tinted windscreen for my CBR 250R. I Plasti Dip the rims on my CBR 250R. And unfortunately, there's some poor bastard that has that bike that probably thought they had some black powder coated wheels because I traded that bike in with the Plasti Dip rims. In the, at the dealership <laughs> uh, somebody probably bought that bike thing thing there get some cool black rims man only to find out if it chips away they'll see that they'll be like man what is this and uh, I feel sorry for for that person out there but you know what I don't know I, I didn't feel like taking that plastic dip off the rim but hey it protects the rim so when they pull that plastic dip off it'll be like they had brand new rims because I put it on that bike when I first got that bike and I bought it brand new Woo! This modded CBR 1000 double R's got a little bit more kick to it, man. Woo! Feels good. Feels real good. But I've also plasti dipped the pegs on my CBR 1000 double R, this bike here. And uh, I'll tell you, and, and also I plasti dipped the wheels on my bug out van, the bumper on my bug out van. I plasti dipped the helmet before. Uh, I've plastic dipped them. I know I'm missing some other stuff. Over the, over, I've been motor vlogging since 2012 and I've done, like I said, several plastic dip videos. And uh, I'll tell you guys, plastic dip is awesome stuff, but there is a but to it. It will peel off if, if it is like if something rubs against it or it'll peel off, but you know what? It's easy to fix. All you gotta do is just spray that area and it looks fine. Because, you know, my, my pegs, sometimes I brushed against it by accident or some, somehow I touched it and it, it broke off some of the plastic dip. I just spray it up and it looks new again. Uh, I just spray the part. I don't even have to spray the whole thing. Just spray the part that's, uh, that's torn off. So, I say it's pretty good. You know, I'm saying that nothing beats powder coated wheels powder coated stuff obviously that is the quality way of doing it i mean but if you're a cheap butt like me uh plastic dip is a cheap option to change the color on anything like i said i even did a helmet and uh by the way if you for all the plastic dip videos i did i'll try to include some of the links in the description and comment section of this video if you want to go check it out um but like i said man it, it's been good for me no problems but I probably would not plastic dip rims again I mean that's just too that's just going too cheap guys seriously and, and powder coating does look a lot better than plastic dip wheels but you can get by with plastic dip wheels like I said I fooled that dealership <laughs> and uh, I, but I don't know it's cool man whoa you gotta be careful out here these cars yeah guys plasti dip you gotta do it they even have high vis plasti dip man i tried to plasti dip my armor jacket which by the way that armor jacket is awesome for those of you guys that are super cheap and you, you feel like you, you don't want to spend a lot of money on a motorcycle jacket i'll tell you guys for just riding around in the city the armor jacket is a, it's awesome it will protect you do a lot better than riding around with a t-shirt or a sweatshirt or something Tell you that guys but i tried to plastic dip a uh, high vis plastic dip my <laughs> my black armor jacket man and that it didn't go so well <laughs> so be careful on don't plastic dip clothes and fabric or anything man it just it doesn't uh it doesn't work out pretty good at all obviously i was kind of stupid on my part but i still rock that uh that armor jacket even with the messed up plastic uh plastic dip but anyways, yeah guys, I hope that answers your question. Please continue to leave comments and I answer 
uh, your comments, your questions through my motor vlogs. It, it helps give me motor vlog topics for my videos. So keep on with those questions. A lot of stuff I've already done. That's why, you know, I set up on my website. If you go to cyclecruiser.com and click on the menu tab, my videos, there's a bunch of playlists there with all of my over 1,000 plus videos categorized there. So it makes it easier for you to navigate through. So you can probably find a lot of the questions you have, I, I most likely have already answered it already. Uh, so go check that out. But uh, hey, for those of you that want to get my gear, you know, my camo pants, my helmets, leather jackets, everything, I always include links to my stuff in the description and comment section of my videos, along with, if you go to my website, cyclecruiser.com and click on the menu tab, my gear, those are current links to all of my gear, cameras, tools, everything. And if you want, like I said, go check out my videos too on my website. And uh, hey, hit thumbs up if you like this video. Share this video with your friends, guys. So I appreciate all of you. Subscribe to my All in One Motorcycle channel. And also go check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto. Channel, Bug Out Moto, that showcases a van that I customize for cheap that allows me to live in my van with my motorcycle anywhere and has a ton of cool mods. And that channel has everything from build videos, trip videos, uh, anything and everything, Bug Out Moto. Hey, hit the thumbs up button if you like this video. It really helps me get motivated to make more videos when you hit the thumbs up button. As a courtesy, I included two video playlists, one for new riders, and those are all of the videos I've done over the years that I feel are helpful for new riders, and also my popular videos playlist. Hey, hit the subscribe button. I appreciate it. Take care.